B. Benedict remains an enduring symbol in the entertainment industry due to her remarkable blend of talent, versatility, and genuine warmth that captivated audiences across generations. Amidst her contemporaries, Benedict stood out for her ability to effortlessly transition between radio, television, and film, leaving an indelible mark in each medium. Her knack for portraying relatable, lovable characters with an unmatched authenticity cemented her as a standout talent of her era. As for personal experiences or cherished memories related to this Hollywood icon, many individuals hold dear the moments spent watching her iconic performances that brought laughter, comfort, and joy. Whether it was her roles in classic sitcoms like The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show or The Beverly Hillbillies, Benedict's presence on screen exuded a rare charm that continues to resonate with audiences today. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. I'd love to hear your connection to this timeless actress and the impact she made on your entertainment experiences. B. Benedict, recognized for her versatile talent in television and radio, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her career spanned various iconic roles, captivating audiences with her comedic prowess and natural charm. Notably, Lucille Ball initially considered her for the role of Ethel Mertz on I Love Lucy, showcasing Benedict's esteemed standing among peers. Beyond her wholesome on-screen persona, she possessed a wit that amused her colleagues, demonstrated during her time on the Jack Benny program. Her contributions earned her a well-deserved star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960, commemorating her lasting impact on Hollywood's landscape. B. Benedict's legacy endures as a testament to her remarkable talent and significant influence in entertainment. B. Benedict, a versatile voice behind numerous female characters in Warner Bros., Looney Tunes, and Merry Melodies cartoons, contributed significantly to the animated world. Her voice brought life to beloved characters, although she remains rarely credited for these iconic roles. Interestingly, after her departure, June Foray took over the characters she had previously portrayed. Beyond her prolific voice work, Benedict balanced her career with a family life, raising two children, daughter Maggie Bannon and son Jack Bannon, who later pursued acting. These lesser-known facets of Benedict's career shed light on her diverse talents and lasting impact on both animation and family life, marking her as a multifaceted talent in the entertainment industry. B. Benedict, renowned for her versatile talent in entertainment, found her initial breakthrough in radio after being discovered for her singing prowess. Raised in San Francisco, her journey into the limelight commenced when the manager of radio station KGO recognized her talent during a children's production of The Beggar's Opera. This discovery led to her debut on radio as a singer, marking the genesis of her illustrious career. As one of the rare female voice artists associated with Warner Bros., Benedict notably lent her voice to numerous iconic characters, including Granny, albeit without receiving screen credit due to contractual obligations. Her prolific work extended into the 1950s until June Foray took over the vocal role, reuniting with Mel Blanc in the 1960s for characters like Betty Rubble alongside Blanc's Barney Rubble. Her multifaceted career spanned from radio to television, where she anchored various roles, leaving an indelible mark on both animated and live-action entertainment. Despite facing health challenges later in her career, her absence from projects like Petticoat Junction left a palpable void, highlighting her irreplaceable presence in the industry. B. Benedict's journey remains a testament to her diverse talents and enduring impact on entertainment, influencing generations of artists to come. B. Benedict, a distinguished talent in entertainment, hailed from a diverse heritage, her father being a Turkish-Jewish immigrant while her mother, Margaret O'Keefe, rooted in a different background. Her family life was marked by her marriage to actor Jim Bannon, from which she had two children, Jack and Maggie. In her career, she collaborated notably with Jean Vanderpil on renowned shows like The Flintstones and Top Cat, showcasing her versatility across different animated series. Beyond her work in animation, her contributions to the industry span from radio to television, leaving an indelible mark on both realms of entertainment. Tragically, her life ended due to emphysema at the age of 62. She was laid to rest at Pierce Brothers Valhalla Memorial Park in North Hollywood, California. Remarkably, her second husband, Jean Tubley, passed away merely four days later from a heart attack and was interred next to her, marking a poignant union even in death. 
the facets of her heritage, her diverse collaborations, and the poignant circumstances of her passing reflect the multifaceted life and contributions of this revered figure in the entertainment industry. B. Benedict, a luminary in the entertainment industry, boasted a versatile skill set that left an indelible mark on iconic characters. Her collaboration with producer Paul Henning took a fascinating twist when her name emerged for the role of Granny in the Beverly Hillbillies. While captivated by the prospect, Henning hesitated due to her not fitting the envisioned physical appearance and decided to explore other options. Interestingly, it was during the audition process that Benedict astutely recommended Irene Ryan for the role. Her insight and recommendation not only propelled Ryan into the spotlight, but also demonstrated Benedict's discerning eye for casting. Despite her initial interest, she prioritized the project's success over her personal aspirations, solidifying her legacy as an insightful figure in the industry. This incident illuminates Benedict's profound understanding of casting dynamics, showcasing her selfless dedication to the craft. It's a testament to her talent and generosity within the realm of entertainment. B. Benedict, known for her versatile talent, was initially considered for the role of Granny on the Beverly Hillbillies, but instead landed the part of cousin Pearl Bodhi. Her insight into casting dynamics proved pivotal when she recommended Irene Ryan for the role, showcasing Benedict's discerning eye for talent. This incident highlighted her selfless dedication to the success of the project over personal aspirations, solidifying her legacy as an insightful figure in the entertainment industry. Her contributions, both on and off screen, remain a testament to her talent and generosity in the realm of entertainment. In 1936, B. Benedict took a significant step in her career by joining Orson Welles on radio's The Campbell Playhouse. This marked her first major break, leading her to become a regular on Jack Benny's renowned radio show. Her talent flourished as she created memorable characters like Gertrude Gearshift gaining prominence in radio comedies such as The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, The Great Gildersleeve, and Fibber Magee and Molly. Notably, she played a pivotal role as Lucille Ball's best friend on radio's My Favorite Husband, laying the groundwork for the iconic show I Love Lucy. From her early days at the Reginald Travis School of Acting in San Francisco, B ventured into various aspects of the entertainment industry, embracing roles as an actress, singer, writer, producer, and announcer on radio. Her diverse experiences paved the way for her multifaceted career that spanned decades, leaving an enduring mark on both radio and television. This journey into the world of entertainment set the stage for B. Benedict's remarkable career, establishing her as a versatile talent whose impact resonated across different mediums, shaping the landscape of comedy and entertainment for years to come. As we draw the curtains on this moment, let's take a stroll down memory lane where the effervescent talent of actress B. Benedict illuminated screens and hearts alike. Her charisma transcended eras, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. Now, it's your turn to shine the spotlight on your personal connection with her performances. Whether it's her iconic roles or lesser-known gems that resonate with you, I invite you to share your cherished memories and reflections. B. Benedict's legacy continues to weave itself into our lives through the magic of her craft and your stories add depth to the vibrant mosaic of admiration for her artistry. Thank you for honoring her impact and for sharing your thoughts. Your participation enriches this tribute to a luminary in the world of entertainment. Until we meet again to celebrate the stars hove graced our screens, may the enchantment of B. Benedict's performances linger in your fondest recollections. Gratefully, 